What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we are going to be doing Godzilla Earth. So, <clears throat> I've done Godzilla Earth versus Planet Eater Ghidorah. But I thought I'd just do one of Godzilla Earth. It's kind of, kind of a cool design, you know, he kind of looks like a mountain or something. <laughs> so he's just like a, he's like a big, yeah, he's like he's made from a tree. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Um, I haven't watched, I, I don't watch the, this anime one, but um, I think it's, a, it's an anime one, right? It's kind of computer generated sort of stuff. I haven't watched just so many animes. But this guy looks cool, I might give it a watch at some point. Um, right, so we start with his eye. So I'm on landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser, sketch it out lightly, take your time, hit pause when I move my hand, all that kind of stuff, okay? So we're going to start with his, like his eye and his, sort of his eyebrow. Right, right. So we we'll go up. His head is just up here on the top right hand side, okay. And his neck kind of comes back this way, okay. Just thought I'd do a portrait of him, just to get some of the details of his face. So eyebrow, right? So kind of curving around this way, okay. And then kind of comes down there at the back, right. And this will eventually kind of run down his back. This line, right, and. Like, because he's sort of, he's all textured and stuff, you know, you can add, like, lines like this. You know. Kind of like that, okay? And then his eye will just be in underneath, and the eye shape is kind of like an almond, you know, or a, a lemon, kind of like a real skinny lemon. So we go... Up, down, and then it will go around the bottom and back to there. Okay, and then in here we can see his eye, so we'll go sort of like a curved line kind of here, right? And you, this may so imagine it kind of comes around and then back up here. Can't see if he has like a like a sort of a a skinny sort of fox eye or just a round eye. I usually give Godzilla and dinosaurs the sort of fox eye, you know, this kind of or cat's eye. I like this kind of a long pointy sort of thing. If he doesn't, if he doesn't have a long eye, you can just put a circle in there. I'm not really sure, but I think that looks cooler to be honest. Right. So then we got like some eyelid lines and stuff coming around, you know, some like texture. Just coming around his eye, going all up this way. Because he's like a wrinkly sort of dude, right? And this, he's got like a cheek line or something coming across here. It's all sort of texture and stuff in here, like lizard skin. Well, it's not really lizard skin, actually. It's, you know, tree like. It's got all these lines on it. So normally I'd be doing like circles and all that kind of stuff, but. For this guy, we'll keep it sort of linear, because it seems to be the, the sort of the thing that we're going for. So then we got like the bridge of his nose kind of comes out here, right? Comes out, down, down around here, okay? And then we can see just like his other eyebrow kind of sticking out the side there. And this will come around for his head eventually, so it kind of like comes out this way and there's there's all spikes on the top of his head and stuff but we'll just bring it down like that right so kind of a long sort of head and then just some more sort of brow lines and stuff going back this way mm -hmm. kind of texture lines and stuff like this and some more sort of here and this eyebrow sort of shape So, right like that. Okay, so then at the front of his face, right? So we've got, let's see. So we got like a spike, small spike here. His teeth are like real spiky, right? Spiking like this. And then they kind of, they continue in this way all across. So up, like so. Uh, right, 
and then this goes down. Back up. And they kind of go around one another. So sometimes they can be spiky in the middle, sometimes round, it seems like. And then we just keep sort of going around like this. <clears throat> right, eventually this will come back up to a space in his jaws. What to say here? This is going to make this spiky. Right, there might be a bit of a shadow or something in here because the next tooth starts and goes in like there right so this would be like the inside of his mouth so we'll make it dark okay so there's another row of bottom teeth right um and they kind of he's got an overbite it seems like so like the top teeth kind of sit a little bit on top right so they come out from here like from underneath right He's got texture and everything on these teeth, right? But we'll just, we'll draw in the main shape for his head first. Right, so coming down like so. Real big bottom jaw now. So the spikes on his, his jaw is like all like his teeth coming around this way, real spiky, okay? So like crazy big, down like this. Let's go around there. This way. So, and this will like come up into his mouth, kind of join the side of his, kind of side of his head or something. There'll be lines up here. So, come that the way. Again, look out. Around. It kind of eventually, kind of textures itself in with these lines, right? So then there's a row of teeth in under here, okay? But you can't see them all. There's kind of like just sort of gaps in it or something. So like, let's see. So like, say here, right? So we got like tooth going in there and this would be like his mouth or something, right? So you do just like a dark shadow there. And then tooth goes all the way into there. Can't see anything. And then we have sort of another tooth, say here. So this would be dark shadow. And then this tooth in here. So a dark shadow, just like that. And then a dark shadow in here. So they're not like lining up perfectly. You just have sort of these gaps in his teeth. See like that. So you're just coloring in. sort of dark sections in underneath his teeth like that. Now that's roughly it right so you're just that's all you need to do to define the bottom teeth and then each of these teeth have kind of like textures and all that stuff so let's see I'll just bring this a little further down there. Um, well that is nostril so he's got like just a long sort of nostril here. And then there's like texture around this. And all these teeth have like, sort of like ridged sort of. They have all these lines on them, right? All these kind of texture lines that come along his face. So they, they all sort of run back this way, right? So and eventually these lines will go up around his sort of jaw back here. Right? So all these sort of texture lines. Again, think sort of branches of a tree or stuff like 
that's right. That kind of thing. <clears throat> okay, and then something similar coming down on all of these, right? So like these guys run all the way up to these teeth as well. All these sort of ridges. You can sort of build this up as much as you want, right? So you can make it as textured as you'd like and lines on it. His neck right so we got um like maybe just some of his jaw sticking out on the other side but we'll draw in the neckline first so like the front of his neck is like here and this comes down like that and then what i meant was there's a another spike coming out the other side of his jaw just here just on the other side of his mouth on the other side here and then like an adam's apple in there. You know, just coming out from his neck. And then the other side of his neck. So like all these muscle, it's like he's made of muscle fibers. Like, you know, he's got like all these big sort of muscle lines. So one comes out of like the back of his head here, say. And then we have another one coming out of the front, sort of. <clears throat> These are like the main structures now. And then, let's say another one in there. So we'll draw like the main shapes, right? And then we'll add all the texture inside. Cause he's like, like his muscles are all, they've all got like these sort of fibrous lines, like all that all over them, right? So we'll just draw the main shapes first. The main sort of anatomy kind of shapes. So another line for his neck just here so where the neck muscles meet it's the same in humans right so we got like his chest line just underneath that and then his chest muscle the collarbone will go out towards his shoulder same on this side right so it'll go sort of out to there and this one's smaller because his body's turned away right so then his chest muscle comes down like so around in under, into there Right, and then we have sort of like his diaphragm or his rib cage or something. So you got like the center line for his body roughly going down that way. Like diaphragm comes up there, and there's all the texture and stuff on this as well. It's just like his rib cage and chest muscle here. So then the shoulder on this side comes out here, like so, and then he's got a tricep like that, and then his forearm comes out there. And can we see the inside of the arm? It's mostly, well, where does it connect? I think it's like a bicep, so we'll just put it there. It's real big. <coughs> These are all like main, so it's like a shoulder, and then like the 
center line for his arm and his bicep and stuff comes out here. So like some of these lines will be like thick with shadow in them because they're like solid sort of big objects like that. Like there's no line here. Okay, and then we'll add all the texture, but we'll just finish the anatomy over here, right? So he's got a big roping sort of neckline. Again, kind of in here. So just kind of goes up this way. There. Seems to be like some lines on top there. Like that. And then another one. Come down this. Is that right? And this way. There. And then another one there. Um, right, so then shoulder will be somewhere here, like, you know, same sort of level, we'll go here, okay, and then we'll go around, so this shoulder is bigger than this one, and we can see more of it, so this comes down, around, and then the bicep. This is like all shoulder muscle rope and stuff. <clears throat> there. And then tricep. Boom. And then his arm sort of bends around here, right? And this will have like another muscle section kind of like this. And our forearm. Then she kind of joins the shoulder or something here. And then another muscle went that way. Right, so then his other, so that the, like the neck joins here, and then we have more chest muscle lines going up into his armpit. Like if you feel your own, like um, pectoral muscle, your chest muscle on your chest, it goes like into your armpit, and meets the shoulder muscle in there. His diaphragm and his rib cage and stuff here. And this goes, this is like, uh, this is all body, just all in here. So this has all kind of texture lines and stuff, just re that repeats kind of going down this way. So we'll just draw like the main ones. <clears throat> it's like his rib cage. Okay. Boop. So you might need to thicken up some of these lines just to make them different from the texture lines. Do that now in a sec. So back of his neck then, right? So we've got like it's the line into his shoulder here. And there's like a big yeah, so we go his big neckline. Honking sort of neck. Maybe a bit of a bulge or something like from his back coming off like his neck there. And then coming out from his jaw, we're gonna add another neck muscle. So all these sort of roping kind of muscle lines, right? I'll just get, I have like a thicker marker. I'm just gonna like use a soft one to kind of thicken up some of these lines, right? So you can see now I'm just gonna add just a bit of thickness to some of these 
just to make them stand out from when I do the texture. So totally optional this step. You could do it at the end. You know, sometimes you can do it just when you're finished. Okay. But I'm just gonna do it right now. Just adds a bit more definition to these lines. This is like, this is called adding line weight, right? You're just giving them more oomph. It's much easier to do with a marker than a pencil, so. Unless you have like one of those um, charcoal, or like really soft pencils, you know, like a 8B or something. With a thick nib on it, that would do a similar sort of thing. Like so, and then we'll just keep going. I'm just gonna add another one here, going up his head. Gets thinner up here. Do, 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 do. I know he has all those spines on his back a little bit, but we'll do those last. We're just gonna texture him up in a second. He actually has some more lines on his shoulder here, so more thick lines. Sorry now, this is incredibly boring. <laughs> just, just it's a step that I like to do sometimes. Do, do, do. Okay, so we're gonna go for it now, okay? So we're gonna add loads of texture all over his body, like lots of it, okay? And you're just, what you're gonna do is just like follow the shapes, right? So you're just gonna do this kind of stuff. See, so curve it around his shoulder blade there. And every now and then you can add like a thick line if you want to, like a slightly thicker one, see like that. And then texture it up. We just do that all over, okay? So you're just following the shape for his muscles, right? So you're just doing this kind of thing. And they can be quick, you know, you don't have to. You don't have to spend too much time on it. So I come across his chest going this way. creating that illusion. Oh, 
following your shapes, following those lines that we did already. And you can see now the effect of having the thick line compared to the texture line. Makes everything sort of just makes for a more interesting image. So think like rope, you know, like they're, all the lines are like twisting around one another, especially on the neck muscles, right? As you can see, I'm going quite quick. I'm just letting the sort of pen, I'm just moving my arm. Dots and dashes and stuff. It's not, you know, a pencil might be different, but I mean, maybe not. If you did the same thing with a pencil. Ah, oh, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, and then you can go over it with ink once you get the idea. See? shadow in here. Spikes all along his head, right? We'll keep it sort of simple. We won't do like all of them. So they just sort of start sort of normal coming here. And eventually, when they get back to here, there'll be those sort of typical Godzilla. They start to become these coral reef sort of things. You know, they kind of look like you look up an image of the coral reef, they become these kind of things all the way down the back. They're really big on Godzilla. There's loads of them, but we can just see like one row just coming down so we'll just do one row just for the sake of demonstration if you want to fill in behind these with more you know you can kind of make it personalized sort of you know you can add more in mind if you want it's your drawing always sort of add your own touches if you want well you don't have to These have texture all over as well. Oh, lost my place. Oh, there we go. Okay, so. So, once you get a hang of these shapes, you can kind of just make them up. You know, there's no. Spiky, sometimes the ends are round, bumpy. And we can't actually see one there. And then, so like these sort of textures coming down the middle. Why 
size like this. And I will add, I'll add a bit of weight to the outside of these as well. So like just, I'll use sort of more, I'll add some weight to the, around here, just some extra dark. I'll make them darker basically, I can't speak. <laughs> what am I trying to say? I don't know. <laughs> Step one, draw Godzilla Earth. Step two, quarter Godzilla Earth. You're welcome. That's it. <laughs> you know, it's like those memes where it's like step one, and it's, it's just draw a circle, and then step two, the whole thing is finished. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like that's what I'm doing. I don't know. I think they're helping people. Maybe they're. I hope I am. People in the comments tell me they're helping. I'm helping anyway. So that's good. I'm just having fun. I'm just like, I think I'll draw gods on earth today and talk while I'm doing it. And I'm happy that people are getting something out of these videos. You know, it feels good. It feels good to help. We need more of it, I think, in the world. I'm getting all philosophical now. Do -do -do. I'm like Bob Ross. What a legend that man is. I'm just going to put a happy little squirrel down here. <laughs> I remember when I was in art college, I would watch Bob Ross in the mornings. He would be on TV. He's, he's a fun guy. Right, so RIP Bob Ross. So with this guy's like, I'm going to put like some birds. See, like that? You just draw like that. Sort of letter M sort of shape. I actually had an image of him where there was birds in the background. Where's that one? Hey there. So I think you can do this. Like so. This kind of thing. Gradually smaller. doing birds it's always good to do a tiny little one. Some really small ones. Anyway, I'm getting distracted now. There he is. That's it. Godzilla Earth. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.